don't know why I made that face. What's going on, guys? My name is Bryant, uh, also known as Adrenaline Guy. I don't know why I added that. See, it's still not like fluid, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I am here to do an unboxing of the Super Duper Cooper Hype Archer and Olive uh, Mystery Box uh, unboxing box. <laughs> anyway, so Archer and Olive have this little thing on their website called the Mystery Box, and in that Mystery Box you can get the following thing. You're gonna get three things, okay? One of them is guaranteed to be one dot grid journal. The others can be another journal, it could be the acrylograph pens, it could be the traveler's notebooks, it could be planners. I've seen all types of stuff. Now, I personally would want at least a traveler's journal because I think that's super cool. I want to get into travel journaling and I really, I, like I have a little mini travel journal and I think it's really, like, I went to like the traveler's notebook in Japan to get this. Kind of expensive, totally worth it. I'm gonna do a little walkthrough of that. But anyway, I'm, I, I can't, it feels, it feels in here like it's like, I want to say two notebooks and maybe one acrylograph set. So I don't know, really know what to expect, but I, let me tell you, the hype is super duper real for this. Uh, this is my first ever like mystery box for anything. And like, I want to sign up for like stationary subscription boxes. Cause I think it'd be really cool to unbox on the channel and open, but uh, like, on my bullet journal, not on my, but like on the Facebook group that I'm in, uh, bullet journal junkies, like people were going crazy and they're like, oh my God, they're back in stock. So we're here to see the hype. I already know there's hype because these are, are already some of my favorite notebooks and I already plan on collecting a hundred million of these to have for a lifetime, like my moleskins. And I already have four of them and it's not enough and I wanna get at least 15. So, um, yeah, I have a problem when it comes to buying journals. Anyway, that's not why you're here. <laughs> Therapy. So, um, let's unbox. I almost, I almost started unboxing without showing you guys. I don't know why I expected there to be an actual physical box. I was like, you know, surprise, it's a box, like a mystery box. No, it turns out it's kind of just like in this wrap, which is fine. But let's see what we got in here. <laughs> First thing. Okay. This looks like a thick boy. It's a craft paper dot grid notebook. And it looks, what size is this? A B5 it looks like? So. Ooh. All right, so hopefully this isn't our dot grid journal that's like, you know, a hundred, like guaranteed. I'm pretty sure they said it's an A5. Let me double check. No, so it doesn't even guarantee a size. So don't worry about a size. Oh, okay. Okay, we have a second dot grid notebook. This one's 192 pages, this one's 160. Okay, okay, and for our third one, three notebooks. We got three notebooks with these. Also a dot grid, 160 pages of dot grid. I could not have asked for anything better other than the traveler's journal. I kind of wanted the traveler's notebook, but I got them now. I mean, yes. This is, this one's this one. Why do I feel like I'm like collecting Pokemon cards right now? This is, I'm so excited. I just want to have them all. Like they had a, a collection, like a fall collection just like come out. And uh, see, these are such good notebooks that it pains me to have started some without having more, if that makes any sense. Like I only have two of them as of now, I have the big B5 and the A5, and I never really wanted to start any of them because I'm like, damn, I only have one notebook. I don't want to ruin it. But now that I have multiple, you know, I can just do whatever I want and still have ones for special occasions. Like one of them for sure is gonna be my bullet journal for 2021. The other one, I might just start a dream diary. I don't know, man. Let's open them. Let's open them. Let's open them. Let's open them. Enough with the chit chat, man. You always telling stories. Like, ain't nobody care about your stories. Let's just 
Get to the good stuff. Yo, why do I suck? Uh, I'm not a professional unboxer yet. So I'll get there. So we got three. Three notebooks. And why does this size seem so freaking cute? It seems adorable. Like, ubu adorable. Wow, this is not supposed to be this dramatic. Oh, I really like this size. Oh, this is nice. This is... I don't actually have, like, any brown journals. Check that out. Get off, get off me. Get off me. No ghosting, no bleeding, perfect for markers, fountain pens, and even paint. That's really, really cool. Let's take it off and look inside. Luckily, I did order my own, um, like, journal that already had, like, the craft paper. It was, like, the Neapolitan notebook. So I did get the black paper. The black paper was super important for me to have in a bullet journal, just because I wanted to try it out, especially with their acrylograph pens. Definitely something I wanted to try out. But wow, when I say that this is really feels next quality, like next level quality, I'm not exaggerating. These notebooks genuinely feel like you can write absolutely anything in them and they're going to last you a lifetime. It's insane. And I'm actually really happy to have these notebooks. Like my kids are going to be reading stuff from these notebooks. They're going to be like, dad, you used to bullet journal? I'll be like... Yeah, back in my day, before the holograms. I'm kidding. I'm still I'm still gonna be writing even if there's holograms. I'm a huge tech geek and a stationary geek. That's why I like think we should merge both worlds. You know, best of both worlds. Like what if there was a let me stop. No. Yeah. What if there was a journal that you can have in physical reality and you could bring it into virtual reality and work on it in virtual reality and then have it manifest physically like in a little time you know, just gotta combine both worlds you know what i'm saying that owl one was really cool i like it i like it why do i suck at opening these i love that they're uh not tight uh that's a bad word to describe it i love that they're the, Compact. Yeah. Oh, nice. This is a thick boy, 192 pages. By the way, they're all 160 uh, GSM, like the grams for the paperweight. Wow, this is a thick boy. Look at that. And it's the fox. I think I got really, really lucky with these because these are notebooks that are can be used by anybody, you know? They have really colorful ones and like really feminine ones or really like color, I already said colorful, like really like out there, you know, kind of journals. But these, these look like they can be for anybody and everybody. And I think I'm pretty lucky with these. Look at that. Oh my God, I don't even know. I'm like, I might start watercoloring, you know? Give it a try because this is awesome these i'm telling you these are journals that i'm probably going to keep forever and if you're looking to get into a bullet journal um for the first time i would honestly recommend investing in a good journal uh if you decide that you want to do it long term or any type of journaling I would definitely recommend investing in a good journal because like, for example, you could start with like a dollar store notebook. Technically you could start bullet journaling in any notebook that you want, but you're going to start realizing that there's different quality available to you. You know, you're going to start noticing certain paper doesn't feel right. It starts to bleed. Your markers look disgusting on it. And it's, you know, picking out a notebook is super important and I'm planning on making a video about it, but picking out a good notebook for you is definitely important. All right, this is, I believe the B5 with the crafted paper. Craft paper, crafted, craft. Oh, save the bees. Save the bees. Oh man. 
This, oh, oh, okay. So this is all craft paper. I don't know what I would do with this paper. Is it dot too? It is dot red pages. Wow, look at that. That is awesome. Super thick. I feel like I might actually be able to fill one of these up one day. Got the folder in the back. This is really nice. I don't know what I would use it for. I've never really used craft paper in any of my journaling. Um, might have to give it a try, you know? But I'm building up my Archer and Olive notebook collection and I'm super excited about it. And the packaging is perfect. So overall, I really think you can't beat the value of these boxes. For only 50 bucks, you definitely get one journal plus two other things, potentially, you know, more journals or the acrylograph pens or planners. Like it's at least valued at about $100 minimum because their journals alone go for $35. The, the acrylograph pens are at least 30 something dollars. So the value, I can see why people, you know, they're out of stock right now. If you go on their website as of September 16th, they're out of stock. So I would definitely try to keep an eye out on that and, you know, have notifications or join groups or have people that will remind you about when they're back in stock because I think it is a fantastic value. And I'm probably gonna get another one. Hopefully, you know, I, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna get another one. I'll get, yeah, I'll get another one. I mean, I have the acrylograph pens. I have two sets. I have the 7.7 .7 and the 0.3. I have the acrylograph pens already, and I don't think I need more. I don't use them on a daily basis, but I just love the idea of the mystery boxes and like not knowing what you're getting and you know, like, and I want more journals. I always want more journals. If you can think of a company that has really high quality journals, tell me because I love journals. Why am I talking like this? Should stop. Anyway, uh, yeah, well, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you guys get your mystery boxes in time. I don't know, it, it really shipped super fast as soon as I ordered it. it didn't take long at all for me to get it. I really enjoyed it. I'm super happy with the journals that I got and I cannot wait to use them. I might honestly start using them from like my personal journals and I'm just super excited. Hopefully you guys liked that unboxing and found, I don't know what you would find in this video. Maybe you just like watching unboxings. I like watching unboxings. Maybe you like watching unboxings so we could watch unboxings together and call it a date, you know, unbox and chill. I gotta stop. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, please leave a like and a comment down below. It really helps me out. And if you like my content, definitely subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.